you know, I'm a big fan of Sailor, uh, and I love his very inspirational videos. And uh, he definitely helped in my onboarding of Bitcoin, although I was onboarded a little bit before him. Um, he had this video in Prague uh, where he's talking about, again, all your models are destroyed. And I can appreciate somewhat the video uh, because what he's saying is, um, he's sort of saying that Bitcoin is kind of a, a game changer, right? So, you know, if you looked at bows and arrows and then you know, chariots, and then all of a sudden you have like guns and nuclear weapons, you know, you can't really extrapolate from bows and arrows and guns to uh, nuclear weapons. There's, there's no real kind of extrapolation there. And then he sort of, a little bit sort of saying, well, you know, all these models with these statistics and time series, um, you know, is uh, just kind of a waste of time because it's changed so fundamentally. But, and then he goes on to say, well, I believe that Bitcoin is going to have a 24% CAGR, 24% uh, compounded annual growth rate. Uh, but that's a model, right? And so where are you getting 24%? I mean, do you just put your finger in the air and say 24%? No, you're not. You're clearly looking at some data. You're extrapolating from that data. That data is a time series. You're not looking at before Bitcoin. You're looking at the 15-year history of Bitcoin, and you're coming up with um, you're coming up with a projection based on the time series. Right now, the power law says that the trend line is moving at somewhere between 43 and 45%. Now, it turns out we're actually right on trend line as well. So that's a pretty good estimate for your compounded growth, 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 your compound growth rate right now as of today. This week at Bitcoin Prague 2024, the king of Bitcoin himself, Michael Saylor, gave a keynote speech. Within his keynote, Saylor proclaimed that all of the models that you use to measure Bitcoin will be broken and are useless. Here's exactly what he had to say. All your models will be destroyed. Your political models, everything we learned over 10,000 years. When you're looking backwards, all these people, they want to look at time series of historic stuff. All I see is a bunch of statisticians analyzing people with chariots and bows and arrows and camels and elephants fighting in wars 3,000 years ago, and we show up with explosives and aircraft, and they're trying to back test their models and figure out how explosives and aircraft impact the way they organize their elephants. It's like all the models, they don't really make any sense anymore. If you understand Bitcoin, you realize you got to throw them all away. When Godzilla walks onto the playground, all your models are worthless. They're all going to be destroyed. In a nutshell, Sailor is saying that Bitcoin is such a revolutionary innovation that there are no models that can measure it. However, mathematician and renowned Bitcoiner Fred Kruger does not agree at all. Kruger, in his latest video update to investors, broke down why he believes there is one model that will hold true for Bitcoin and that will be the Bitcoin power law model. Kruger points out that Saylor predicts over the next 10 years, Bitcoin is going to compound on average at an annual growth rate of 40% per year. It will then compound over 20% thereafter. However, this is very much in line with the Bitcoin power law model, which predicts a $1 million Bitcoin over the next 10 years. Kruger points out that if you have a prediction as to how much Bitcoin will increase over the next 10 years, the only way you can come up with a figure is if you model it. The best model, the Bitcoin power law. Before we jump into the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video and turning on post notifications. But without further ado, here's Fred Kruger breaking down why he thinks Sailor is wrong. You know, I'm a big fan of Sailor uh, and I love his very inspirational videos. And uh, he definitely helped in my onboarding of Bitcoin, although I was onboarded a little bit before him. Um, he had this video in Prague uh, where he's talking about, again, all your models are destroyed. And I can appreciate somewhat the video uh, because what he's saying is, um, he's sort of saying that Bitcoin is kind of a, a game changer, right? So, you know, if you looked at bows and arrows and then you know, chariots, and then all of a sudden you have like guns and nuclear weapons, you know, you can't really extrapolate from bows and arrows and guns 
to uh, nuclear weapons. There's, there's no real kind of extrapolation there. And then he's sort of a little bit sort of saying, well, you know, all these models with these statistics and time series, um, you know, is uh, just kind of a waste of time because it's changed so fundamentally. But and then he goes on to say, well, I believe that Bitcoin is going to have a 24 percent CAGR, 24 percent uh, compounded annual growth rate. Uh, but that's a model, right? And so where are you getting 24%? I mean, do you just put your finger in the air and say 24%? No, you're not. You're clearly looking at some data. You're extrapolating from that data. That data is a time series. You're not looking at before Bitcoin. You're looking at the 15-year history of Bitcoin. And you're coming up with, um, you're coming up with a projection based on the time series. So I think... All the power law is just, just a more rigorous way to look at that. And uh, I'd like to single out Giovanni because, you know, Giovanni was the first person to observe this and he observed it back in 2013. Um, you know, when he, you know, one of his pals was saying, hey, I think this Bitcoin thing is kind of exponential. And he said, uh, no, it's probably not exponential. It's probably more like a power function or a power law, and it's not, this is just the way these things are called, they're called power laws. And so what that means is that it's, uh, it, is, it is a power of time in log space. So you have to look at both Bitcoin price in log space and time in log space. And if you do, you actually can, you'll see there's some very predictable behavior. If you do that and you get to a point where you can estimate the uh, compounded annual growth rate. And so, um, so you know, I did this in this sort of latest post. It's very sort of simple math, right? So this is like high school math, really. I mean, you know, I have a PhD in the subject, but you know, you can get a long way from just sort of high school math. And basically, um, if, if you have a power function, and that means that um, Bitcoin price is a constant A times time to the power B, right? So the question is, what is B? Well, you can estimate B and B is pretty, pretty solid. It's somewhere between 5.6 and 5.8, okay? Depending on sort of if you look at it in block time versus if you look at it in, in real time, et cetera. So let's just say 5.8 for the, for the, the, the number. And that's kind of, very similar to Giovanni's number. 5.6 would be more like Stephen Perrineau's number. I'm kind of coming right in the middle of those, but these are all the, the, the correct number. Now, if you look at the time at T plus one versus divided by the time at T, you'll notice that the factor A drops out and you're only left with sort of T plus one to the power six divided by T to the power six. And then T in this particular case is 15. So it's 15 years since the inception of Bitcoin. And so you get a power function, a CAGR of 43% um, or between 43 and 45%. So right now, the power law says that the trend line is moving at somewhere between 43 and 45%. Now, it turns out we're actually right on trend line as well. So that's a pretty good estimate for your compounded graph growth rate, your compound growth rate right now as of today. Now this is gonna slow down a lot. And if you look in 10 years in the future, it's gonna slow down to 24%. And then if you look at 20 years in the future, it's gonna slow down to 17%. Now. Now, again, if you look at it 10 years in the future, you get 24%. So you're kind of getting to the same kind of number that Sailor gets, right? Because Sailor's looking at 24% CAGR rate. He says it's conservative. And I'd agree that it is pretty conservative because if you're starting at, at a CAGR of 44% and you're going down to a CAGR of 24%, you're probably going to go, in general, more than 24%. And then that continues. That sort of CAGR drop continues. And in 20 years, it's gonna on, only be 17%. But 
What I'd like to point out is that 24% uh, CAGR is an 8x, right? So if you go, it's 8.5x. So if you go 1.24 to the power 10, you'll get 8.5, right? So a uh, dollar in brings you to $8.5 out in 10 years. Uh, now, if you can get, on average, you're going to get somewhere um, between 40% and 24% over the next decade, right? You're not going to get 40% because you're only going to get 40% for the next year, right? Um, so let's say 30%. And, uh, you know, if I got, take 1.3, 1 let's say 32%, 1.32 to the power of 10, we got, um, you know, we get 16x, right? So 16x is kind of what you roughly can expect in 10 years, just to say roughly a million dollar Bitcoin. Uh, it's not complicated math. Um, and, you know, you can look at this thing again from 10 to uh, 20 years and you're gonna get probably about 20% after that. So let's just look at that for the next, so you're gonna get 16X over the first 10 years and you're gonna get 6X over the next um, over the next 10 years. So big jump, 16X over the next 10 years, much smaller jump, even smaller than half. It's only 6X over the next 10 years. So, which is kind of what I've been saying too, which is really, the time to be in Bitcoin is right now, right? So there's Fred Kruger's latest insights on why he thinks the only accurate model will prove to be the Bitcoin power law model. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the Bitcoin power law model and Michael Saylor's prediction, so drop a comment below and join the conversation. Now guys, if you're watching this video, you're clearly interested in crypto. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in the crypto and Bitcoin world, don't forget to subscribe to our daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It covers expert predictions, breaking news, and top on-chain analysis all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description to join over 60,000 others and becoming a better crypto investor right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.